Good morning, President Adama Barrow. Can we please talk about the rampant corruption in your government? Are you aware that the audit report on the missing millions at the Gambia Ports Authority is out? How far with the police investigation into the missing millions? At the National Malaria Control Program, what's your government doing to recover the missing COVID-19 millions? Mer President, if you start caging the heartless criminals in the civil service and eliminate the secrecy that allows corruption to thrive in the new Gambia, many of us will become your Yaliba Kayade for free. People are suffering in the country, Mr. President, every day. Here on What's on Gambia, we receive tons of messages from Gambians asking for help. Just yesterday, we assisted a mother of five who was abandoned by her husband and had no money to buy food for her children, Wal Ahi. Mer President, your priority right now should be how to end corruption and ease the suffering of. Gambians, stop the defonte with your ex-father. Recently, we had a conversation with a senior immigration officer who was widely praised for her hard work and dedication. We were disheartened when she disclosed she was renting because she couldn't build a house of her own. Mr. President, there are many like her in the police, army, healthcare sector, and teaching field. When is your government going to introduce a housing scheme for civil servants in Zimbabwe? The government is partnering with the private sector to provide housing for civil servants. In the Gambia, we have so much reserve land. Instead of selling it to real estate multimillionaires and Indian businessmen, why not use it to provide accommodation for nurses, teachers, soldiers, police officers, and other low-income civil servants? In many African countries, their governments are providing non-monetary incentives for public workers, Mr. President. We completely agree with you that people can criticize the government without hurling insults at government officials, in fact, it is against our cultural values and norms as Gambians. But please, always remember that there are hundreds of thousands of Gambians who are suffering. Some villages in the provinces don't have access to clean drinking water. In some schools, children are sitting on mats or the bare floor to learn. Have a nice day.